Dr. Yoni Witten here, and this week we're talking about one of the fastest and most effective ways to build up your bone density. I've received a ton of questions from members of this community about how to use whole body vibration to build up bone density. Well, today I'm taking you through a simple five-part workout to do exactly that. In addition to your power plate, you're going to need a few pieces of equipment to get the maximum benefit from this workout. Now, I strongly recommend that you get yourself a set of high quality adjustable ankle weights. I really like this set from Synergy. They easily adjust from two to 10 pounds per side. So they give you a ton of room for progression, but they do jump up in two pound increments. So if you want to make smaller jumps, then I would recommend you go with a set from a company called All Pro, and I'll link to both of those in the description down below. You're also going to need a backpack, pretty much any backpack will do. And then having a stopwatch is very helpful for monitoring your time. And it makes things flow a little bit quicker than having to look down at the timer on your platform. Once you've got that, you're ready to go. The first exercise is a standing march and it couldn't be any easier. Just make sure that your ankle weights are nice and secure. Set your timer for 30 to 60 seconds. Turn your power plate on. And then from that standing position, you're going to bring one leg up as high as you comfortably can. Hold for a second slowly return to the start. Switching over to the other side, hold for a second, slowly return to the start, going back and forth for that entire 30 to 60 seconds. Now what matters on this one is the tempo. So you should take one second to raise up, hold for a second at the top, and then two seconds to return to the start. This exercise accomplishes a couple of things. Number one, when you lift that leg, you're using the powerful hip flexors to pull that weight up off the floor. But number two, and this is important, when that leg comes up, the muscles on the opposite side, all these big powerful hip stabilizers are having to work like crazy to hold you up in that unbalanced position. And so what you'll find is as you go back and forth with this movement, you'll really start to get a burn in these muscles on the outside of the hip. Couple of important notes for this movement. First, when you lift the leg, you need to make sure that you're coming as high as you can while keeping a straight back. So you don't want to see any of this dipping down as you bring the leg up. It's a straight back movement. Number two, if you feel unbalanced or unsafe at all, make sure that your power plate is positioned close to a wall so that as you're going through, you can reach out and use the wall to balance yourself if you need it. You want to make sure that you're staying safe as you go through that 30 to 60 seconds. After the timer goes off, Turn your power plate off, rest for an equal amount of time. The second exercise is a forward leaning squat. And for this one, you need to make sure that your power plate is positioned so that you can be far enough away from a wall that you can actually lean forward into it, almost like you were starting to get into a push up position. Now, my feet are actually off the back of the platform, but that's just because I'm confined for space here. So ideally you would be able to be far enough back with your platform where your feet are safe and secure on the platform and you can still get into that forward lean. So you don't have to copy my foot position exactly on this one. You're gonna lean forward onto the wall, engage the postural muscles in your abdomen and your back to stabilize your spine and keep you nice and upright. From there, you'll turn your platform on Set your timer for 30 to 60 seconds, and you're gonna slowly drop down, taking about three seconds to get to the bottom, into as deep a squat as you can possibly get to. You're gonna hold for two seconds, and then come back up. Slowly coming down, hold for two seconds, come back up. Just like that, back and forth, 30 to 60 seconds, using the wall for support. Once you finish, turn your platform off, rest for an equal amount of time. Now I love this exercise for people that are not good at squatting because the wall can be used to add safety and inspire confidence for you to go deeper than you otherwise would if you didn't have something to put your hands on. So exercise number two, forward leaning squat. The third exercise is something I call a side squat. And for this one, you're actually starting off of the platform directly to the side of it. You're gonna start off with your stance about hip width apart, Set your timer for 30 to 60 seconds. Turn your platform on. You'll then lift the leg that's closest to the platform. Set the foot down on the platform. Slowly squat down. Hold for a full two seconds at the bottom and then return to your starting position. Going back and forth, slow and controlled on the descent. Hold for two seconds. Bring it back to the start. 30 to 60 seconds. Turn your platform off. 
rest on the floor with no exposure to vibration for an equal amount of time. You'll then switch over to the opposite side of the platform and set your timer for 30 to 60 seconds, turn your platform on and repeat two second hold at the bottom for 30 to 60 seconds on this opposite side. Rest for an equal amount of time when you're finished. For the fourth exercise, you're gonna need that backpack. You're gonna remove your ankle weights, roll them up and slide them into that internal compartment. Then you're gonna zip it closed. You'll step up on your platform and you're gonna slide that pack on like you would a baby carrier, okay? Importantly, you want the straps of the pack positioned as wide out on the shoulder as you can possibly get it. The goal here is to have the resistance of your pack pulling your shoulders forward and your spine towards the floor, which is gonna force the muscles in your spine to pull back and extend to resist that weight. From there, you're gonna assume a perfect posture, nice straight back, pulling the weight of those straps backward with your shoulder muscles, keeping the head nice and tall, turn your platform on, 30 to 60 seconds, you're just gonna stand with perfect posture. And if you've selected a weight that's appropriate for you, you're gonna feel the muscles in the middle part of your back, in between your shoulder blades, or right about for women where your bra strap sits, you're gonna feel those muscles burning like crazy at the end of that 60 seconds. Great exercise, great for training, spine health and perfect posture at the subconscious level. After 30 to 60 seconds, you'll remove the pack, turn off the vibration and rest for an equal amount of time. For the fifth exercise, you're gonna slide that pack back on into the same position at that outer margin of the shoulder. You're gonna get in that nice, strong, upright posture, back is straight, head is tall, turn the platform on, 30 to 60 seconds on your timer and we're gonna add a march to this postural exercise. Now we're targeting a bunch of muscles at the same time, just slow and controlled going back and forth. Again, if you feel unsafe at all, make sure that you're close to a wall so that you can reach out and stabilize yourself while keeping a straight back and performing this motion. But with this, you're targeting a ton of different muscles after 30 to 60 seconds, slide the pack off, turn your platform off, rest for an equal amount of time. For all the overachievers out there, there is an optional sixth exercise where you go back into that forward leaning squat with the additional challenge of having a load on your back. So for this one, you'll take that backpack that you've been using, slide it on as you normally would wear a backpack, position yourself to the back of the plate, lean forward into the wall, set your timer for 30 to 60 seconds, and then you're gonna do a slow descending squat, making sure that you keep a nice, strong, upright posture. Three seconds on the way down, hold for two seconds, as low as you can comfortably go, press back to the start. Three seconds down, hold for two, back up. And repeat just like that, 30 to 60 seconds, turn your platform off, slide the pack off, and you're done. From there, you would go back to exercise number one and run through all of the exercises a second time. When it comes to choosing the right setting on your power plate for this workout, you should keep in mind that most of the research that has produced impressive results in terms of boosting bone density has used a frequency of vibration between 30 and 35 hertz with an amplitude of about two millimeters of movement. That means that on your power plate, you would be using either setting number one or setting number two on those little blue lights down on your display panel. Setting number one is 30 hertz with two millimeters of amplitude. Setting two, 35 hertz with that same two millimeters of amplitude. The one hiccup in all of this is that the Rwan study from 2008, which produced some pretty dramatic results, used 30 hertz but five millimeters of amplitude. So they stepped it up pretty significantly. Now to approximate that on your power plate, you would jump up to setting number four, which would be 30 Hertz with four millimeters of amplitude. So it's gonna get you pretty darn close. And the beauty in all of this is that when it comes to building bone density, the most important factor in using vibration seems to be maintaining your cells 
sensitivity to the vibrational stimulus. That's the reason we turn the plate off and on in those 30 to 60 second intervals. You're exposing to vibration and then you're giving a break for an equal amount of time, allowing those cells to resensitize. You don't want them to get used to it. And so it gives you an opportunity here with these three settings on the power plate, setting one, two, and four to rotate between them from one workout to the next, or even one exercise to the next to generate a new stimulus and keep those cells sensitive to get maximal results. If you've been looking to add whole body vibration to your home routine to take advantage of benefits like better bone density, increase muscle strength and size, and improve mobility, then there couldn't be a better time than right now. From now through May the 8th, PowerPlate is making a special Mother's Day offer just for the members of this community, where their entire home lineup of PowerPlates is on sale 20% off. That's over a $650 savings on the PowerPlate move. And they're going to throw in free domestic shipping plus a PowerPlate Pulse 3 massage gun with every PowerPlate. Use the link in the description down below to access that special offer and have a happy Mother's Day. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you'll put the information to good use. If you need ankle weights, I've put links for those in the description down below. To take advantage of this limited time offer from PowerPlate, you can click the card here or use the link in the description. Just make sure to get your order in before May 8th. That's all for now. See you next time.